Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise of the War video. Today guys, we are going to be talking about building your ring. Now this is something I overlooked in Season 1. I actually didn't know that the way you build a ring will actually give you certain buffs in the game. So with Season 2 coming up, we will have to rebuild our rings with the server merge that's coming up on the 25th. So, yeah, I wanted to share this information today because I actually didn't know this. And someone in my Discord for my fellowship let us know. I think it was t so thank you so much for letting me know. But basically, the way you build your ring is going to give you certain buffs. Now, I'm going to bring up four different graphs up here on the screen. You will see our first one here, guys, is going to be a plain ring, not inscribed. And then we have the plain ring inscribed. Then we have the elaborate not inscribed. And then the elaborate inscribed. So as you can see, there is four different options here. Basically, it's going to be plain ring and elaborate. And then there is going to also be inscribed and not inscribed. And as you can see by the graphs that are on the screen, the way that you build your ring, you're going to get in certain buffs. So I'm going to show you a few options on how you can build your ring. Just an example so you have an idea. You can go off the graphs that I was showing. So you can get your exact, exact uh, skills that you would like from your ring. So for example, we are going to build a plain not inscribed ring first. So let's bring back up that graph right now. So yeah, guys, as you can see with our first ring here, a plain ring not inscribed. So a plain ring not inscribed is going to give you the choice of two options. You are going to have the choice of army attack and army HP, but you will only have the choice of focus damage. You won't have the chance of physical damage with a plain not inscribed ring. So with your bronze, silver, gold, and iron, so basically with your bronze and your silver, you are going to get a buff of HP of 1% if you choose bronze or silver as the ring. Now, with gold and iron, if you pick that, you're going to get an army attack percentage of 1%. So that's basically how it's going to work. Now, if we pick a ring, for example, here, we want to go with an army HP. We are going to pick... Let's go with bronze, just for the example, and it's going to give us a what HP bar. Is set into it. Okay, now because we've gone with an army HP over army attack, we'll be able to pick a gem. Now we have a choice here of amethyst, emeralds, rubies, and sapphire, or ruby, sapphire, emerald, and amethyst. However, which order you want to go from, we'll go in order as it is. Now, this is where it makes a little bit of a difference here. So... If you wanted to keep your army attack, which we picked because we went with a bronze ring, you are going to want to stick with either Emerald or Amethyst. As you can probably see, I'll bring back up the graph or the chart here. So as you can see, if you stick with the Emerald or Amethyst, you are going to retain that 1% buff for army attack. So yeah, guys, but as you can see, if you pick Ruby or Sapphire gem here, it is going to change that army attack percentage that we want to army HP buff. Now, like I said, no matter how you change it here, at the moment, unless we inscribe the ring, we are going to get focus damage. So, let's say we want to, we've changed our mind now. We actually want to go with an army HP buff because we would like to put a ruby on. So, we would pick ruby here. And now we are going to get an army HP buff of 1%, as well as our commander focus damage of 1%. So let's pick this, for example. Is it plain? Now, this is where, for example, we have got a plain ring. Now, if we were to change over to an elaborate ring, we would have to bring up our elaborate, not inscribed graph, as you can now see on the screen, guys. Now, the difference between plain and elaborate it's basically going to change whether you get a buff of focus damage or a buff of physical damage. Now, because we've picked Ruby here, we are still going to have our army HP buff. 
But ba but basically, if you wanted to change that, you'd have to go back and change your gem, which you can just back out the game, and then you can go with your army attack. But basically, if we were to change over and change our minds to elaborate now, guys, it's not only going to make the ring look awesome, it's going to give us the physical damage for a commander over focus. So we will change this now to for an example. And so now, as our ring is now sitting, we have a elaborate ruby ring made of bronze. So if you bring up the graph right now, as you can see, if we go to elaborate not described, and look at, we have a bronze with a ruby in it. You can see that we're going to be getting an army attack percentage of 1% and a commander physical damage of 1%. So we will change, we'll pick this, sorry, and we will continue. Is it inscribed or bare? Rightio, guys. So now we're at whether it's inscribed or not inscribed. So with not inscribed we would basically be retaining our same ring as before as an elaborate ring not inscribed with a ruby we would have army attack percentage of one percent and physical damage from a commander of one percent but if we go ahead and bring up our graph now as you can see on an elaborate ring if we inscribe it with our ruby on a bronze ring, we are still going to have our army attack percentage of 1%, but we are going to change the ring back over once again to focus damage. So basically, if we inscribe this ring right now, which we're going to do, boom. We have chosen our fate, guys. Right here, guys. So to sum up this video, I know it's very confusing, but basically... You have four different options which is going to affect your ring. Obviously, you're going to have plain or elaborate ring and whether it's inscribed or not inscribed and then what gem you are going to use and then what material is your ring going to be made from, guys. So basically, the absolute easiest way is to figure out in your head what you want your ring to exactly look like and then pick from what you've picked you want to have a look at the graph and see exactly what buffs it's going to give you. So, for example, you wanted a gold elaborate inscribed ring. That is going to give you a buff with a, what, what? let's say we have a ruby on it. That's going to give you buff of army HP and commander focus damage. But if that's what you don't want and you wanted commander damage instead of um, physical, instead of focus then you're going to have to go for your graph and you're going to have to change it, which in that case you would have to uninscribe it. But basically the best way is just to go off the graphs, guys, and pick out exactly which ring you want to make. I'm going to put a link to a website which has these four graphs on, which I use to make this video to help you guys out even more and make it a lot easier. Or you can just pause the video near the start where I showed all four graphs. Either way, hopefully this helps you out a lot. It's I know and I made it I may have made it sound a little bit confusing going for it. I hopefully I tried to explain as much as possible, but I know when you do one thing and then you move on to the next thing, it changes it and vice versa. So yeah, just focus on those graphs and you shouldn't go wrong. But yeah, I wanted to let you guys know this information because it was quite new to myself. And it can make even though it's only a certain one percent buff that can make a difference in the overall long run. So anyway, guys, I hope today's video helped you guys out. And until next time, peace out, EJ's out, and I'll catch us later. See yous.